We all may have read something on this project, but why don't we go ahead and make it official oh, here and yeah. now, starring the two of you yeah. and the whole gang of friends. Disney is moving forward to, to make a brand new Muppet movie. Oh, oh, wonderful. Oh, that, wow. Oh, look at that. Sean, thank you. That, that is great. Of course it's great. Why is going to be in it? Oh, Kermy, I have a wonderful idea. Yes, Piggy? I could play a diva oh. with magical powers. Mm, that's, a, uh, that's a really uh, a wonderful idea. I'll make a note of that. Listen, Sean, I think we uh, probably should leave while we can. We've got a movie to work on. Yes, you do. Ladies yes, and gentlemen, do. from the Muppets, Kermit the Frog and Miss uh, Piggy. Hi, Could you talk a little bit about what you and Gore are conjuring up for these audiences next summer? Well, as you, as you said earlier, it's really the origin story of the Lone Ranger. Uh, but from a little different perspective, it's really from Tonto's point of view. And you know, Johnny, who is playing Tonto, always creates exceptional characters. I mean, you saw him in Alice, what he did to Alice. You saw what he did to Captain Jack uh, and what he's about to bring to Dark Shadows. So he's going to have a unique vision on this movie. And it's for every audience. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's a big tentpole Disney movie, just like we did with Pirates. It's been a pleasure uh, working on this film and, and working on it from the ground up. As far as the character of Tonto, he's got, um, yeah, there's some interesting additions to the character. Uh, I'm thrilled to present to you Wreck-It Ralph. This film reveals the secret life of video game characters. Now, th the movie is set in a busy arcade full of today's most modern video games. It follows the story of Ralph, a classic 8-bit video game character, you know, the kind of games from the 80s, um, who longs to be more than his pro programming allows. Ralph may be the hero of our story, but he's actually the bad guy in the game. You know, the guy that kind of always throws the barrels down on the good guy and stuff. Um, he, he is he's in a 30-year-old classic 8-bit video game called Fix-It Felix Jr. And he's having a bit of a midlife crisis when we meet him. He's always, oh man, he's always tired of being the bad guy. John C. Riley! How you doing? Good, it's so good ah. to see you. Hello, Las Vegas. CinemaCon, John C. Riley. John C. Riley, CinemaCon. No, it was great. This character has such a great physicality. It reminded mm -hmm. me of some of my big former football playing uncles. And, uh, you know, uh, you'll see in a minute, he's got enormous hands and the, this giant body, and he's moving through a world that's just not made for him, you know? I think some people can relate to that. But um. In the summer of 2013, you get to see how they became friends because they first met at college. This is a prequel to Monsters Incorporated. In fact, it's set about 10 years before uh, Monsters Incorporated uh, Monsters Incorporated takes place. Now, as you know, college life is a pretty important time in your life. It's when you learn a lot about who you are and what, you, what you're meant to be. And we call our movie Monsters University. We are very proud at, the, at Pixar Animation Studios and at Disney to present Pixar's next film, called Brave. It is, we're very excited, it is um, Disney's big tentpole release this coming this June. And the movie is created by all of the great artists at Pixar, led by a couple of Pixar veterans, uh, director Mark Andrews and producer Catherine Serafian. It is an excited, it, it's, it's, um, we're so excited because it's an exciting epic adventure set in where? Scotland, baby. Scotland.